Hey guys. So this is a model that I ordered and it came all the way from Hong Kong. So I thought that was pretty cool. I found it on eBay and it was half off the original price. I believe they normally retail for 160 And this one I got for 73 shipped to me. And I say half off including shipping because it's shipping would have probably been like 10, 10 bucks for this. So I got it for pretty much half off. It's a Menzi Mus Muck Excavator. This is a model that I have been eyeing for a while now, but I haven't bought for one reason. And that's pretty much just because I didn't feel like paying 150 bucks for it. But now that I got it from eBay, for the price that I bought it for, I couldn't pass it up. So, here's the box that it comes in, and it's also packed uh, very well. And there's the Menzi Muck. It's a, a Swiss excavator, and a very different excavator. It could go on inclines and climb down hills and whatnot. I'm very excited to get this. I'm glad that it didn't come damaged in shipping, even if something, you know, a little something is broke. It's really not going to matter to me because the time that it goes, that's going to take to send back to Hong Kong and then have one sent here is going to take a while. Needless to say that it did come very quick and I was very surprised by how quick it came. I ordered it on a weekend. I believe I ordered it two weekends ago. Um, I ordered it, let's see if this says, well it doesn't say, but I believe it was two weekends ago and I was scared that it was going to get stuck in customs and get held up in there, but luckily it didn't. So I'm probably going to start to order more stuff from overseas because uh, a lot of the models that come from overseas are a lot cheaper. Shipping is obviously a lot more, but if I could save some money, why not? And this one is produced by Ross. Uh, surprisingly, it has zip ties. Haven't seen that on a model in a while. But you haven't noticed I, I'm, I am selling some stuff on eBay. If you want to check it out, some of it already has sold, so make sure you get your bidding in. But also, I'm going to have some more unboxings. And at the end of June, it's when I'm going to have a lot more because I'm going to have a lot more money then. Very annoying. I'm glad that this was uh, the one with all the larger tires. I believe this is the 4x4. The other one's got the big tires like this, and then it has two other small ones, which I find uh, not to be the the nicest looking thing around, so I did make out on this. Probably would have never got it if it didn't have free shipping too. Uh, these are annoying. Alright, let's get a tilt bucket. So, here it is out of the box. A very impressive model. Uh, there is actually one of these working underneath Manhattan on a subway project, which is one reason why I bought this also, because I, I bought the video on my phone, and uh, I usually like to buy machines that are locally around here. And uh, as you can tell, the whole thing can adjust and whatnot. I'm glad that didn't come damaged also, and here's the little outriggers on the back. It's got the tilt bucket, and the boom does extend. 
So it's a very impressive model. Not the biggest model, but uh, I didn't really expect it to be uh, very large, but a very cool model. I'd love to make a diorama with this thing in there and some stop motions. Not saying that I am, but it would it would be cool. Maybe I will. I'm really not that sure. But uh, this is a very cool machine. I don't have many places to display its capabilities, but can go right up the side of a wall. Uh, very glad that I bought this. the The wait time obviously was was expected coming from Hong Kong, but I'm very glad, and it was definitely worth the wait. It's a little stiff, better stiff than not stiff. But there you go. There's the unboxing of it. I don't think many people even have this model. I don't know why. It's a, it's a very cool model to have. So, hope you enjoyed it, and take care.